welcome to another Tuesday Happy Home Paradise uh, live stream. <laughs> I almost said video. <laughs> what is up? How are you doing? As you can see, Lottie is behind me. So it looks like we might get to decorate the school today. Also, oh, why does... Why... Why is she wagging her tail? <laughs> Welcome in. Hello, Alicia. How are you, Gabby? Good to see you, Kim and Jake and Simply. Hello, Amelia. I'm doing good. Thank you all for asking. We are under a tornado watch right now, and the weather looks a little scary outside, but... We're doing our best. Hello, Daisy and Space Panda. Good to see you. Good to see you. I need to see if we can if we can decorate this school today. Because I am very interested in doing so. I got lost looking at this property. Have you noticed all the unused properties around here? Yes, I have. Okay. Ooh, I really want to decorate the school, but if not, there are some other villagers that look really cute that we could give a vacation home to. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if we're going to get to decorate the school today. I don't know. Let's go see. Let's go see. Hi, welcome in, everyone. I'm ready to work. Alright, so I think that we need to expand our client base before we're able to decorate the school. Which is fine. It's fine. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Corbin. We've got some interesting villagers out here today. So there's this villager. I can't remember her name. I love shaved ice, so I need someplace super chill. And then there's Mo, who wants a place to work on his mysterious magic act. And then there's this dude who wants an exclusive club that only plays his playlist. Um, there's this pig. I don't know any of these villagers' names. I think this is Tutu. She wants to be surrounded by dolls? That's... That's horrifying. <laughs> that is horrifying. I don't know if I can do that. I... I don't know if I can... If I can handle that. And then there's also Stu who wants his nose to be hugged by the smell of trees. See, we did Poppy in the last one and he wanted... He wanted one that had like... Um, it was like a tribute to wood or something. So I feel like this one's kind of similar to that. Oh, Tutu's the bear. Okay, they kind of look alike though. They're both like white and pink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one I should do. I don't know which one I should do. Super chill, mysterious magic. I think I might do the mysterious magic. That one sounds kind of cool. Yeah, same, Daisy. Same. So how is everyone doing today? How is your Tuesday going? Anyone doing anything fun? Hi, Aubrey. I just got off work. I'm ready to play some, some Animal Crossing. A magician's myster mystery manor. Ooh, look at those items. What is that item on the left? What is that? I guess it's just lights. That's pretty cool. I honestly haven't seen this, like, vacation home before. Ooh, nice, Madeline. Getting buff. Love that for you. So which one of these lots is giving magical... Let's see, we already did some of these. I kind of like this one though with the waterfalls. It 
it's always so hard to choose. Ooh, maybe like a mysterious magical island. I, I think I like that. I think I like that. Oh, Daisy, I hope that your food was yummy. Hi, cozy stars. I was coming to your live stream earlier and then I joined and you were like, bye guys. <laughs> and then the live stream ended. I was like, okay, I'm late. I'm really late. <laughs> but I was there, okay? I was there. In spirit. <laughs> Oh, Mo is so cute. Mo is such an underrated villager. I love all the cat villagers so much. I don't know which one's my favorite, though. It's so hard to choose. All right, let's get to decorating this. Let's get to decorating. I'm going to start with the pathway. I think this time I'm going to do maybe this, like, in-game. In-game path. In all the last episodes, I've been using our spring core pathways. So I kind of feel like we could we could switch it up. But I hate how this isn't like it doesn't, it's not even. It's not even. Can we can we move this over? See, this is this is my problem. This is my problem with this game. We, we go through this every day. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. Ooh, good luck restarting your island, Aubrey. Better to be late than not show up at all. True. True. There isn't enough space here for this tile. Oh, so it has to be like moved over. Because he says he wants a magician's mystery manor. And I feel like that's giving a big old mansion type of vibe. So I kind of want to use this one. Oh, how frustrating is that? That it can't be lined up. You know what? I have the solution, I think. Let's try this. There we go. <laughs> this can work. This can this can be something. And let's make it curved. I feel like that looks better. Hey bug. How are you? That's the real question. Thanks for stopping by. I don't want to go too crazy with the yard. Hi, Sammy. Good to see you. How's your Tuesday going? We're just playing some cozy Happy Home Paradise today. I kind of want to use this, like, Zen fence. Ooh, with the purple. I know he wants to be a magician, so... The purple could look kind of cool. Ooh, a fall island? That sounds really nice. I love fall islands. The orange colors and stuff, are, it just always looks so nice. Hi, Nat. Happy Tuesday. I'm happy that you made it too. And let's use these purple shrubs. They say pink, but they're definitely, in my opinion, purple. <laughs> Working on adulting today, making doctor's appointments. That is, that is some adulting right there. Why is like making phone calls so hard? <laughs> It's like the worst part about adulting and scheduling things and making phone calls. Like, I just can't. I make my husband do all of the phone calls because I just don't want to do it. Something about it is just anxiety inducing. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to remove this. There's not- this is kind of a small lot. 
there's not much room for anything. Oh yeah, same, Madeline. Same. Making phone calls is so stressful. And then you put it off for like way too long. And then once you finally do the phone call, you're like, okay, maybe that wasn't that bad. But then the next time that it's time to make another phone call, you're like, nope. <laughs> yeah, I hate going to the doctor appointments too. I have like major like medical anxiety. It is so hard for me to just to go to the doctor. Maybe we can add some rocks on this pathway. I don't know if that's going to look weird. I forgot that you can like place custom designs on the on the end game paths. It looks so good. I just did like my first virtual doctor's appointment the other day whenever I wasn't feeling too good. And like it was okay, but the doctor was kind of aggressive. <laughs> she was like, turn your camera on. I was like, okay, okay, please. <laughs> Why are you yelling? <laughs> I, I don't know how to do this, this is my first time. <laughs> okay, let's add some weeds. I always like putting weeds on top of the in-game path. It looks so good. Spruces it up a little. I guess we could also customize the house. Hi, bread fan. No worries. I kind of started a little early today. I have a meeting on Tuesdays at work at the end of the day, so Tuesday streams will just start sometime between 4 and 5 <laughs> p.m. Central, depending on when my meeting ends, and today it ended a little early, so... Ooh, I kind of like that. Ooh, I, th I think I like this one more, but this one kind of matches the fencing a little bit better. It kind of matches the fencing perfectly. With a purple door, and I'll do this iron door plate, but let's make it, let's make it white. Same bug, me too. Like my heart rate goes up <laughs> every time <laughs> that I'm at the doctor and they're like, is your heart usually beating this fast? I'm like, no. <laughs> I am just very nervous right now. I feel like doctors are so intimidating too. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard for me to go to the doctor. And I need to go. I haven't been in, since I moved into this city. And I moved into this city in October. But I didn't go for a long time before that too. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know when the last time I went to the doctor is. I need to go. Like, what are- how often are you supposed to go to the doctor? Are you supposed to go, like, every six months? Once a year? I don't know. Hi, Luki! I just chugged some water. <laughs> Okay, this is looking kind of cute, but I think I'm going to get rid of this tree and move this one over. And I think I'll just do this. Oh, once a year if you have no issues. Okay, well, that's not bad. As, like, that's not as bad as six months, but your girl got some issues. So I should probably be going <laughs> better, like, more frequently. I should be better about this, but... <laughs> Okay, I said I wasn't going to use any of these paths, but I think I am. I think I'm just going to make a circle because I can't help myself. I make circles everywhere I go. I think maybe the thunderstorm's going to miss my apartment, which I'm thankful for. I was kind of worried. We've been getting like severe weather alerts all day. And if you were here yesterday, you remember it was thundering. It was thundering loud. 
I wanted to find some sort of couch or something. Maybe some outdoor seating. I just don't know if I like this lawn chair. Maybe if they have a purple one. Mm. I don't like it. Maybe I'll just use the rattan furniture. Oh, thank you. No worries. I don't think it's anything crazy. Just some thunderstorms. It's that springtime weather. Hi, Ava. How are you? We are decorating this mystery magic magician's <laughs> mansion for Mo the cat. I'm trying to give him a cute little outdoor seating area. There we go. This is looking cute. Ooh, maybe this gray color? I've never used this gray color before. Hello, CM. So glad you could make it. You're currently doing a pottery and ceramic studio for Billy. That sounds super cute. I love ceramics. I used to have a friend who was really good at ceramics and I would go with her to her little ceramic studio pretty often, but we kind of lost touch because she moved. But it was so fun to go make stuff with her. Yeah, Mo does deserve a cute yard. Mo's underrated. I'm just gonna add some stones right here so it's like a little pathway out to, to the beach. I really wish that we could fit a tree like right right here. I don't know what to put right here. Maybe there's some furniture item that we could squeeze in. Hello, Angel Eyes. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. How are you today? Oh, uh, maybe a bike. Oh, maybe this colorful, colorful wheel. Because he's a magician. <laughs> Win or lose. Oh, it like barely fits. No, I just want it to be turned sideways. Here, let me put it over here. And then... <laughs> it's a little chaotic, but I think that it works. And then maybe behind it, we can stick a little plant. Oh my gosh, bug. Isn't it so cute when, when your villagers do stuff like that? When they chase bugs around or when they're just like investigating something. It's, it's so adorable. Perfect. And then we can scatter some weeds. I want to put some weeds on his beach. Something like this. Ooh, I love a good meatloaf. I'm making some chicken and veggies in my crock pot. Which I make pretty often, I feel like. <laughs> it's my comfort food. Oh my gosh, right? It would be so much cuter if they could actually catch the bugs or fish that they're running after. Okay, I'm trying to remember that he's practicing magic here, so... Ooh, I don't know what color to do. I think I'm gonna go with the blue, because Mo's blue. This is cute. Hi, Katie. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Maybe some coconut juice. Some coconut juice would be nice. 
And then maybe like a little card tower. So it looks like he's practicing out here on the beach. Practicing his, his magic skills. Hi, Avery. Welcome in. How's your Tuesday? I'm also going to throw in this little book and I'm going to put it on this table. Okay. This is this is looking this is looking like something. This is no. No. I don't want to do that. I guess I need to go into camera mode. I wanted to take a little screenshot. Cute. All right, let's move on to the inside. Coconut juice sounds so good to me right about now. That does sound good. That does sound really good. I remember on like beach vacations as a kid getting a pina colada and a coconut. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. We're going to make a magician room. A magician's room. Hi, Dirtworms. Every time I see your name, like, I get hungry, and I know that sounds really weird because it's Dirtworms, but I think about, like, the ice cream where they have, like, the chocolate cookie crumble or whatever with the gummy worms. <laughs> I haven't had that in so long, but it sounds so good, and I, that's what I think about every time I see your username. Thank you, Jake. I'm glad that you like it. Okay, I need to figure out the floors and the wallpaper first. Now, this is going to be a magic room. So, what about this? The dark walls on the sides and then the red wall in the back? Because now we can do accent walls. I don't think we could, we could do that before. So, that's exciting. And then, I'm going to hang some of these light bulbs some of these light bulbs we can probably do three back there and then maybe just one up here mm. maybe like this what do you guys think like this Avery, thank you so much for joining the Brewster Tier membership. Let's go! You get a dance party. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> My stream alerts are still broke. I thought I fixed it. It's okay, though. Welcome, anyways. <laughs> Everybody send your hype emotes in the chat for Avery. I won't sing. I won't sing. <laughs> it looked like Mo was dancing to the dance party music. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much again. All the Julian hype. <laughs> I love all the colorful emote spam. <laughs> Yay, Avery, I'm so glad you could make it today. And I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> Welcome in, Renesmee. Yeah, I started 30 minutes early today. So I started, when did we start? It's already been 25 minutes. Time moves by so quickly during these streams, I can't even handle it. But don't worry, Renesme, you haven't missed too much. We're designing like a magician's room for Mo here. This is what I got so far. <laughs> Just some cards on the floor. I love this floor though. It's called the lobby floor. It's very nostalgic. It reminds me of the old skating rink that I used to go to when I was a kid. I used to love roller skating. Like, I wonder if roller skating rinks are still a thing. I'm sure they are. I would love to go roller skating right now. I'm, I'm going to tell my husband we should do a roller skating date sometime. 
That just sounds so fun. All right, let's add some studio spotlights. We can put these on the side because I kind of want this spot to look like a stage, right? And then Mo can be right in the center. He's going to need a better outfit, though. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Hello, Ollie. Welcome in. I hope that you have a great shift at work. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate it. I feel like he should be wearing sunglasses, yeah. And the top hat, like this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear some thunder outside. Okay, I'm gonna move. Oh, oh! <gasps> I didn't know that. I didn't know that he could do that. That's so cute. I love it when the villagers interact with, with the items around them. It just, it's so cute. All right, I kind of want to make like some seating for an audience. Hmm. We don't have like any benches and I feel like that's what would look best. Maybe he's just performing in somebody's like basement. <laughs> so all they have are couches. <laughs> You can change their outfits in Happy Home Paradise. You can kind of change their outfits on your island by gifting them different clothing, but they all they won't always wear it. But you can gift them clothing and then sometimes they might they might walk around your island wearing it. Okay, I'm going to add a little table for him to have his his thing on, his little magic trick. Maybe I should do two tables. Wrong item. Hi, Maya. I hope you have a good night's rest. Thanks for stopping by to say hello. Valencia, hello. Oh, Madeline, I've never really got into playing Pocket Camp. Do the villagers interact with the items more? <laughs> okay, this looks kind of cursed. This looks a little cursed. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything that we can hang on the walls. None of this is giving, like, magic. I always like to just spam these on the wall, because these make really nice, easy decor. And then this side could just have some posters and images of Mo. This is going to be the most cursed Happy Home Paradise build that we've done yet. I knew that this day would come eventually, yeah, I think you can make the room bigger, but I'm not at that point yet. Like, I think you have to unlock that feature. I don't think that I've unlocked it yet. Maybe. Yeah, let's add some popcorn and a jukebox. Oh, yeah. Maybe let's move these back. Oh, good luck, bread fan. I love the peach surprise box item. It's super cute. All right, so you can get some popcorn while you're at the magic show. <laughs> he 
he looks so happy. He looks so happy in here. This music is really intense. To change this outfit, I just hovered over him and pressed X. There we go. Add a little pizzazz to the curtains. Add a little pizzazz. I think I'm just gonna say that this is good. This was a pretty quick one. It's ready, Mo. <laughs> Aww. Alright, time for the montage. He's performing for his family in his great grandma's basement. I love that. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Why is it actually so cute though? Hi, Ari. Welcome in. Oh yeah, he's putting on a show. He's the type that would be like calling people up on the stage. Doing magic tricks on them. <laughs> That's so cute though. Thank you, you're welcome though. You're very welcome. Um, I guess we can take some photos. I guess we could. I mean, I think, actually, no. I think we have photos. <laughs> Thank you, Valencia. You want his autograph, Nat? I'm sure he would give it to you. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. We got the magic touch. I wonder how many houses we've decorated so far. I don't even know. Is there a way to see? I've never opened this app. Okay. So we've decorated five of them so far. Oh, this is so cute how we can see them on here. That's so cute. Okay. Oh, we need to go talk to Nico. Let's go see what he has to say. Oh my gosh, Alice is here. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's a DIY, Nico. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So, what kind of DIY did he give us? The vine hanging chair? That's cute. Hi, Raven! Okay, now can I go to work? Now can I go back to work? Thank you, Ava. I want to decorate another house, preferably Alice. She's just too cute. <laughs> Wardell is so cute. Yes, let me work. Amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go see what Alice wants. Ooh, she wants an antique house. Ooh. 
antique goods. Let's do it. Let's do it. That sounds so adorable. <laughs> Hi, Candace. I'm not doing it full time, but I am doing it. An antique cottage? Even better. That sounds adorable. Ooh, this is always the hardest part for me. It's just picking the island. An antique... Antique cottage. I think maybe this one would be cute. Let's see down here. Oh, I like this one. Let's do this one. Alice is so adorable. Yay! We're gonna make the cutest antique cottage ever. Oh, this is cute with the bridge. I like this a lot. Hi, Astro BB! Good to see you! How are you? Okay, I think I'm gonna do the same thing and just have the... the in-game dirt pathway. Because I'm kind of liking the way that it looks. And then let's curve it. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's not perfectly centered, but it's just gonna have to work. Let's see, so this is an antique store. What are our options? Ooh, I feel like this one's giving antique vibes. <laughs> not all the dab emotes. I feel like the dark black or the green. I think I'm gonna go with the black roof. Wait, we can't customize the siding because of how small it is. So maybe we just go with the green because I don't know if the black looks good with that. Maybe if we had like a black door, it would maybe match it a little bit better. Hmm. I feel like it could look cute. I feel like we could try this. And it's an antique store. I mean, I don't know if it's a store. It's an antique cottage. Wait, it's a cottage. Well, then I kind of want to make it like a log cabin. Instead. I forgot that it's a cottage. My next video is coming out on Friday. But if you are a Celeste tier member or above, you can watch it now. Because you have early access. It's so hard for me to pick the door. I kind of like this one with the little circle. The little window. I wish that there were more options or more colors. Hello, B. I hope you're having a great day or night, too. 
I think I like this one the most, to be honest. With a little welcome door plate. This should be fine. Now let's add some trees. I think I'm gonna just do cedar trees on this one because it's surrounded by cedar trees. So I feel like we're in the forest. And it's an antique cottage. Which I feel like would be cute in the middle of a forest. There we go. Now for the shrubs. I'm kind of feeling these. I always make the outside areas super just natural with not too much going on. But I think it looks so cute. I really like the way that you decorate in Happy Home Paradise. I wish that we could decorate like this on our island. I feel like it's really relaxing. <laughs> it's satisfying. Can we fit a tree on top of this? I highly doubt it, yeah. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. I think I'm gonna do yellow flowers. Some of the yellow tulips could be cute. Same V, same. Chill Animal Crossing gameplay is the best though. It's so cozy and relaxing. And oh, we don't even get all of the flower options. Maybe some of these. I never use the wind flowers, like, ever. So maybe I'll switch it up and do that. You'll get more flower options later. Okay. Okay. As time goes on, we'll unlock more things. I feel like once we unlock more stuff, I'm going to want to go back and and redo all of the builds that I've done in Happy Home Paradise, but I know that I'm not going to because that would take so much time. So it pains me to know that. Oh, you've been going back and doing remodels. I guess that is I guess that kind of makes the DLC last longer. You can kind of play the whole thing over again, but with all of the items unlocked. See, maybe that's why it's so hard to decorate out here because I don't have a lot of items unlocked. Let's see, I want to have a bench somewhere. What is, what is in the way right here? Oh, a flower. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that tree. There we go. This is cute. I always just make seating areas outside of their houses. I feel like I never add anything else. Mm -hmm. 
it's just hard when there's so many limited options. Like, there's not much to choose from. Let's make this a little bit darker. The dark brown. That's cute. I always forget about the birdhouse item. Oh, maybe a sign pointing to the antique store. I mean, it's an antique cottage, but I'm, I feel like it would be cute if it was a store, so I'm, I keep calling it a store. Let me add some custom designs beneath this sign. Hi, crafty book nerd. Hello, Diana. How are you? I hope you're having a great week and a great Tuesday. I'll see you later, Katie. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> okay, how did you how did you even get anything done with your eyes closed in this game? Like I feel like I wouldn't be able to do anything. Like I wouldn't accomplish anything. Ooh, I hope you're enjoying your downtime after a long day. I hope it was like at least a productive day. Yeah, I love this yellow ribbon design. It is so cute. Wait, I feel like that would actually look so cute on on the pathway. Stop. Stop. That is so cute. Why? <laughs> I feel like spring core designs and like the grandma core designs are just the best. Nothing beats the spring core vibe for some reason. I feel like just all of the designs are so freaking cute. I feel like it's just so cute. Like this little bow, how can you, how can you get cuter than that? You just, you can't. It's impossible. Okay, I'm gonna add some weeds and then I think, I think that this will be pretty good for the outside. Yeah, ribbons, bows, anything like that, it's just my weakness too. Honestly, like, I want to live in an antique cottage. Doesn't that sound so nice? Not me being like super particular about the weeds. <laughs> okay, I think this is cute. <laughs> I think this is cute. This is giving an antique cottage, right? Right? I didn't place anything on that stone circle over there, but I think it looks good. We're going for minimalism here. Now the inside's gonna be the really fun part. Also, hydration check. I'm gonna have some water. Yum. <laughs> okay, see, this is cute already. All right, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Looks good to me. A plus decoration skills. <laughs> Diana, <laughs> get yourself a refill. I demand it. Okay, she wants these items in here, and I already feel like this could be something cute. I like to start off, though, with the floors and the wall. Hmm. 
I do like this one. I do like this one. So these are the ones that they're giving us to use, but... I feel like this one's really cute. And what about... Something like that? But I kind of wish that the accent wall was over here, yeah. Maybe that is fine. And then I can turn this around. See, I wish that whenever there was something on an item like that, I wish that when you could like turn the whole thing around. Like, you can grab it here, but you can't rotate it. Oh, this is so cute though. Let's move all this over. <laughs> I didn't I haven't even placed any furniture yet. It's literally just what was in here. And I'm like, wow, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> yeah, I like the size of like the small room. I feel like the bigger rooms, I don't know what to do. I'm really bad about like placing items just against the walls and calling it a day. Interior design is just like not my thing in this game. But I really want to beat Happy Home Paradise because I've never done it and... How can I call myself an Animal Crossing YouTuber if I've never beat Happy Home Paradise? <laughs> it needs to be done. Same. Same. I'm so bad at it. Okay, these are horrid. I don't like that. Let's just get rid of those. I just feel like there's not a lot of options here. This is cute. Okay, I'm just gonna like throw a bunch of stuff in here and then just go from there. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that there were so many cute variations of this item. <laughs> I don't know, like I was, it's an antique cottage, so I don't know if it's going to be like an antique store or an antique house. I'm just going to throw a bunch of items because I feel like the store would be cute, right? Hello, Taylor. Welcome in. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. We're just we're just spamming some items in here. In hopes that it'll eventually shape up into something, something cute. I kind of want it to be like a store and a house, like a staged store. Something like this? <laughs> this music. <laughs> I love that. I feel like when you go into antique stores, they're just like super cluttered, crowded. You're just like walking through stuff. None of it makes sense. Kind of like me. 
I don't like me. I haven't played the Stardew Valley update yet. I feel bad because like I want to abandon... I want to abandon the farm that I had, but at the same time... I feel guilty about it, so then I just keep avoiding the game altogether. <laughs> but I kind of want to just start a new farm. I kind of just want to start a new one. I, I haven't beat that game at all either. Like, not one time. And the farm that I was playing on, it's like my first actual Stardew like save <laughs> you've never gotten married see i just got married to Haley, and then i stopped playing no offense to Haley, she was a she's a great wife <laughs> but i just okay so i kind of started playing it for the first time like really played it for the first time and I got super addicted and I played it for like 90 hours in a very short amount of time and I burnt myself out with it okay this is looking interesting <laughs> Just hear me out. This is like what an antique store looks like to me. <laughs> yeah, that was literally me. Like, I played so many hours in a very short amount of time. Okay, how do I select multiple? Here we go. I just feel like Stardew Valley is one of those games where you have to grind so much or else you just feel like you're not being productive or like you're not doing enough. And so I get so stressed out. See, this looks like an antique store, right? <laughs> Hi, Ava. Farming is a full-time job. Oh yeah, let's do some rugs. I always forget about the rugs. Is there room for more than just this one? <laughs> I love the YouTube emotes. They just like make me laugh. Oh man, I didn't know that there was a magic circle rug. We could have used that for Mo's magician house earlier. Okay, I want to, I want to place this over here. You know what? No. <laughs> this is something. This is definitely something. Ooh, let's add some of these. <laughs> Steals the carrot cakes. Carrot cake's my favorite type of cake. And honestly, carrots are my favorite vegetable. Me and my husband were just talking about our obsession with carrots. My favorite character in Stardew Valley, I don't know, like, the only characters that I really got to know were Haley and Abigail, and I think her name is Emily, the one who likes to sew. I think my favorite was probably Abigail. But then I married Haley. Oh, sick. This is amazing. Some antique paintings, too, that you can buy. See, this looks exactly like an antique store. Okay, I want to do some stuff on the walls, though. 
Ooh, a carrot bread. That sounds amazing. I love making bread. I haven't made some in a while, though. Just add some random... Random stuffs on the walls. Let's see how this looks. Honestly? Honestly? <laughs> I'm kind of impressed by this. Like, this this does look like an antique cottage. Alright, now it's time for Alice to get a little bit of an antique makeover. Ooh, carrot cake ice cream? Avery, I'm so jealous. That sounds amazing. I've never heard of carrot cake ice cream. Ooh, I bet that's so tasty. Uh, could you, could you share, please? <laughs> could you bring some to the next stream? <laughs> I would, I would much appreciate it if you just brought one slice. Oh, it's, it's ice cream. <laughs> A slice of ice cream. <laughs> one scoop, please. <laughs> Okay, let's give her this. I don't know about the hat. I don't know. She's not looking too cute with the hat. Maybe this one? Mm, I think she's good without it. I think this is this is cute. <laughs> yeah, can you bring me a slice of ice cream, please? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to start saying that now. <laughs> oh. That little, like, bluish-green color looks really good on her. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> oh, she looks adorable! Actually, though, she looks so cute! Okay, let's take a photo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just me, like, disappearing. This is actually so cute. Gotta get the... Gotta get the good photo. She does look like a little librarian. She's so adorable. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, I did not know you could do that. <laughs> All right, Alice, it's ready. Oh, this montage is gonna be adorable. Oh my god, why is she calling me governor? Like, that would have been so cute if she didn't say governor at the end. <laughs> like, e excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Like, is that really her catchphrase? <laughs> She looks like your kindergarten teacher. I love that, honestly. I don't remember my kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Valencia. Oh. Thank you, Jake. I always appreciate your kind words. <laughs> she looks so studious. So cute. Oh. Thank you, Cozy Stars. I don't know if it's Australian say that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just was not expecting it from Alice. <laughs> like, please stop calling me that. Um, I need to head back. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, you've been working so hard lately. In fact, I'd have to call you a promising designer. Why, thank you. 
Aw, uh, see you later, Ava. Good luck with your productivity. I hope it goes well. Ooh, we got 9,000 pokey this time. Yeah, we got a raise. <laughs> awesome, I'm a promising designer. Oh, we can get a new work uniform. Hi, Carly. I love that island name. I'm I'm so bad at island names. For Springcore Island. Ooh, I don't know. I would name it after like a flower, or maybe a cool plant. Okay, let's see what options we have for our new work uniform. Uh, this is it. How about no? How about no? I think that this is so cute what we got going on. I mean, we could add a bag. We could add a little bag. We'll do that. We'll do that. Oh, look at Lottie. She's so cute, but I didn't notice her tail until today, and I honestly don't love it. <laughs> I don't love it. <laughs> People should start naming their islands after their dad. <laughs> Love that. All right, let's go. Let's let's do some work. Oh, oh, that's great news. Okay, let's do the school. <laughs> Welcome to Richard Island. <laughs> My dad has like a super unique random name, but I love like the basic dad names like Greg or Bob. <laughs> I love that, Diana. I love that. <laughs> oh, so what kind of vibe should I go for with the school? Like, do I want it to be a cute and colorful, like, playful school? Or do I want it to be, like, a sad beige mom school? <laughs> Where there's no color for any of the children? <laughs> I don't know. I think we should do, now that I put it in that way, like, I think that we should do the colorful. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe we should maybe we should do the color because now that I've put it in that use that descript descriptor, I don't think it's a good idea anymore. <laughs> a colorless school for the kids. That's so sad. Ugly green. Green is my favorite color. This is an island after all, so maybe it can be like cute pastel cute pastel vibes on the outside and then sad beige mom on the inside <laughs> just like me <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah we'll do colorful we'll do colorful I'm feeling the green bell See, this is giving like beach house vibe, and I like that. We'll do a beach house school. Oh, yeah, this is a very depressing school. <laughs> she has a technique to just like magically make a room get bigger. That doesn't make any sense, but I appreciate it still. 
Design a school. Okay, let's do it. So how do we make the room get bigger? Oh, here we go. Hi, Mary. How are you? So we can make this thing pretty big. I don't think we need it to be that big. I think this... I think that this size could work. I don't want to go too large. Okay. So... I did not mean to press B. I think we should have the little podium up here for the teacher. And then let's let's get some some walls. Okay, so we have to meet these desk and chairs. Oh, Blue Bonnet is such a cute island name. I love that. I love that. It's Blue Bonnet season right now here in Texas. And it seriously makes my day so much better when when we see them when we're out and about it's just it's so cute now this is gonna be a beachy i want it to be like a beach a beachy school if that makes any sense oh this is cute so it's gonna be super colorful Ooh, so this is the teacher's desk, too. I kind of like this one. Oh, uh, there's a blue bonnet hat in Stardew. Yeah, blue bonnets are these really beautiful wildflowers. Like, oh my god, they're so cute. They kind of look like the blue hyacinths in Animal Crossing. And... Every year in Texas, they're our state flower. And so every year they plant them along like the highways here. And it just, it makes for a really beautiful scene. And I love them. They're probably my favorite flower. Okay, let's put these here. This is going to be the teacher's desk. But honestly, I'm feeling like the walls should be the yellow and then the blue should be the accent wall back here yeah this is cute also another hydration check and while i'm hydrating i'll remind you that i have my channel memberships open so if you want to be a member there's three different tiers brewster celeste and blathers because we love animal crossing and you get access to all kinds of rewards and perks. My favorite is the custom emotes. If you want to join, you can press the join button or click the link in the pinned message. <laughs> and that's all for our commercial break. <laughs> I'm running low on water. I've been chugging water like this whole stream, but that's me every stream, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, don't hate me, but we're gonna use these horrible lights. I mean, it's a school, like we have to have these, you know? <laughs> no matter how horrendous they are. When I was in school, like, the the bright lights would give me headaches. Oh, Maple Bay is a really cute island name. But I just, maybe I'm biased because I love maple. <laughs> yeah, it's not a school light if it doesn't give the kids migraines. Exactly. I feel about those. 
feel like those aren't giving the beachy vibes that I want. Oh, these definitely are, though. These definitely are. <laughs> the YouTube emotes are so funny. Like, what if we did a bunch of mixed match chairs? Like, none of them match each other? I feel like this is so cute. Oh my gosh, there's two of you with Maple Falls as your island name. What a coincidence. Hello, welcome in. Oh yeah, see this is cute and colorful. And they're gonna need some tables. What even is that emo? I can't even like my my chat is so small. I can't even understand what it is. YouTube emotes, I will just never understand. Like what what were they thinking? I mean, I guess they're going for like a style, like a cool stylized look, but <laughs> like they should. They're just they're too much. <laughs> they're too much. They would be a lot better if they were just more simple like just knockoff versions of of regular e emojis you know that's what they should have done okay that desk was not oh, i didn't i don't like the project table but i think it's what we're gonna have to use okay see the cat in the box one though i actually like that one and I also like, my favorite YouTube emo is the one, I'm about to send it, it's like the virtual hug one. Like, that one's cute and wholesome. Okay, let's move these back a little. And give the students little project tables. And let's do some lockers. Some lockers. <laughs> I love all the YouTube emotes spam. Okay, the one the one where it's like the loading circle, that one's actually pretty good. That one is actually pretty good. Yeah, don't forget to like the stream, peeps, if you're enjoying it. Also, subscribe so that you can come to future streams. <laughs> Some lockers in the back. That looks good, right? Thank you, Diana. Hi, Aurelia. Welcome in. Check out this Discord one. I love this one. This one's so satisfying to me. P.S. You should join <laughs> our Discord. <laughs> okay, the lockers? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's just one locker. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but I've seen teachers where they literally just have like a random locker in their classroom. And then they usually just keep like supplies in there. Let's put a whiteboard or a chalkboard, I mean, right behind here. Mm. 
this is cute. It's a little empty. I might do... Oh, I didn't mean to delete... I didn't mean to delete her. But I think I'm going to customize them to the language arts one. So that there's actual writing on it. Yeah, I did see the eclipse. I got to see the total eclipse from where I'm at. And it was amazing. It was so amazing. Like... I was not expecting to be as blown away as I was. Like, I knew that it was going to be cool, but I, I didn't think that it would be like that. I don't know. I had no expectations. It was just amazing, though. All right, let's throw some stuffies on there. Little tables here. <laughs> yeah, they should make more eclipse. They should make more of those. <laughs> totally. So I'm wondering, can we let me move this? Can we fit another layer of chairs? I think yes. I think yes. Because it's kind of like a little empty with only four students in here. Something like this. Maybe somebody's working with some electronics, too. <laughs> Welcome back, Jake. Let's just put a stack of books here, and then... I think a stack of books on the floor back here would be kind of cute. Well, actually, I'm thinking that this can be moved forward. And then, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me not break everything. Hello? Oh, great. This is going to be fun. I just want to move... I want to move all of this stuff one block forward. Thank you, Valencia. Thank you. Okay, what other options do we have? They should totally have a class pet, a hamster. Even though that hamster cage is not suitable for a hamster. Ooh, the painting set is cute. And we're going to want all of this, even though it's all hiding. Let's customize this. Oh yeah, this one's way cuter. With a little rainbow. Let's have a fan. Because they are on an island, so I'm sure it's, like, humid and hot. We can have some stuff hanging up there. Mm -hmm. Hi, Michelle! How are you? I hope that you liked your Puff Pals that I sent you. And all your other goodies. How's your Tuesday? have the exit sign over here <laughs> oh this is looking cute i love the teddy bear on the hamster cage oh i'll see you later sammy thanks for hanging out with us today
let's add a little table for the hamster to go on. Are you serious? It doesn't go on a table? Oh, there it goes. Can we still set the bear on top of it? I don't think so. I don't think so. The bear was so cute with it, though. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I hope your studying has been going well. I'm sure you're learning so much. Let's do purple. Aww. I like the bug. That's so cute. Let's see what kind of rugs they have. Little exercise mats? What do these look like? I've never seen these. That's pretty cute. But totally not what we need. Oh, this is cute. Does anyone else remember, like, or maybe not remember, but did anyone else have the experience as a kid where your teacher or, like, daycare caretaker person had, like, a rug that you could read on, like a reading rug? I don't know if that's, like, a super niche experience, but... Oh, or those rugs that were, like, a racetrack? I used to love those. Hi, Genesis. How are you? I hope you had a good day at work. <laughs> yeah, the reading circle. I think that's like exactly what they would call it. That's so nostalgic. You know, I just... I don't know. Maybe it's a part of growing up, feeling all this nostalgia all the time. I feel like I feel an unusual amount of nostalgia all the time <laughs> does anyone else relate or is that just me let's customize these i wonder okay so we can just customize the map on that one this one i'm sure has some cute stuff though yeah let's put him over here yeah my favorite villager is fauna or celia or maple I think Fauna is like my number one villager, my number one fave, but Celia and Maple are high up there too. Hi, Natasha. I'm so glad that I could inspire you. Thank you, Ava. Yes, the rugs with the city on them. Like, I loved that as a kid. <laughs> I love nostalgia too, but also nostalgia makes me feel, like, sad at the same time. It's like a bittersweet feeling. Sometimes I'm just like, no, I can't handle nostalgia right now. Like, it's too emotional. <laughs> and then other times, like, it's a, it's a positive feeling. I'm so nostalgic though for the release of New Horizons. I think about that daily. It's my Roman Empire. Okay, let's move these a little bit off of the wall and a little bit closer to teacher's desk, like so. That way we have a little bit more room on the walls to add some stuff. We can add some colorful things. This is pretty cute actually.
I used to love school. I'm not gonna lie, like, I looked forward to going to school in the mornings. I mean, there were some days where obviously I did not want to go, <laughs> but for the most part, I enjoyed it. Okay, let's put our teddy bear back. Let's customize these to be a little bit cuter. And turn them around, maybe, yeah. This is cute. And we gotta add a carrot cake. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a carrot cake to like every single build that I ever do from here on out. <gasps> a TV with a VCR. <laughs> That's perfect. Is there like a little cart or something that we could put that on top of? That is so perfect. I think my mom still has my VCR collection. My favorite subject, I always really liked um, like art and language arts and like writing, reading. And I always loved science too, but my least favorite was definitely math. Yeah, the little TV on the cart, like stop, this is so nostalgic. And it can be right over here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's customize it too. Definitely the silver one. Oh, that's so cute. I'll see you later, Aerie. This is cute. Oh, this is so cute. I'm not so sure about the accent wall that we have. I feel like maybe a different color could look better. Yeah, like maybe the green. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Diana. I feel like this is looking pretty good. Let me see what else we have. Let me just do a little scan through. Oh, we have this, like big old thing of lockers oh and it's colorful okay let's move that here oh no see this is the problem when the space starts getting too crowded like you can't rotate anything hello there we go let's put him back There we go. The lockers can be over here in the corner. We were just talking about lockers the other day on stream and how it was kind of anxiety inducing to open up your locker when you were a kid. I mean, even now if I had a locker, it would probably be anxiety inducing because combination locks are freaking hard. They're freaking hard. All right, we got some books, a little candle, because, yeah, it's totally a great idea to have a fire hazard around a bunch of kids in a school. <laughs> and a little radio. And I think that we are done with the interior. This looks so cute. This looks so cute. Oh, no, not me jumping to turn off the lights again. I'm finished. Now, the next thing to think about will be who can we invite to work here? All right, let's see. It's time for some interviews. Mo? No, I, I didn't. I didn't need to confirm Mo. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. I think that Mo, Mo might be the least qualified 
out of all of the villagers that could have been the teacher. Um, okay. We're just gonna go. I guess it was meant to be. I guess it was meant to be. <laughs> He'll probably eat the papers. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him... I'm gonna let him do his thing and be... I'm just gonna let him be the teacher. It was obviously meant to be. I'm just gonna call this beach side. Oh my, can I not select the E? Beach side elementary. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Aww. They're all working so hard. Look at Petrie. Oh, this is- oh yeah, great angle game. Wonderful, I can totally see the room from here. Look at Mo. <laughs> oh, this is cute. <laughs> this song is a bop. Aww. They're so hard at work. How cute. <laughs> yeah, that was a horrible angle. <laughs> How cute, though. Well, I called everyone. <laughs> Once I got our teacher in here, it seemed like we needed some students, too. Yeah. Totally a good idea to, to trust Mo with, with a bunch of children. <laughs> totally not a bad idea at all. Mo totally looks looks qualified. <laughs> totally qualified. See, I want to be a student too. This is just so cute. Let me know if you guys like it. Give me a, a rating on a 1 to 5 scale. What's up? I'm I'm done. Oh, we have to go outside to take the photo? Yeah, why does Mo actually look pretty good as the teacher? <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Alright. We're gonna take a special celebratory photo. Aww. I do look like a teacher with the clipboard. Uh, I'm so happy! <laughs> look at Mo! <laughs> Why is Mo actually like <laughs> the perfect teacher? I don't think I would have selected him, but I'm glad that he became our teacher. Aww. That's so perfect! This was wholesome. Why was that so wholesome? This is just like yesterday when Tia rang the bell. It's just this game so wholesome. Oh, Wardell, I'm sorry, but I literally don't polish anything. <laughs> What does it mean, Nico? Oh, Nico, I hate when people do that. If, you, if you're gonna say something about your idea, you might as well come clean. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. Ooh, 25,000 pokey. That's a lot. Amazing. I feel like we were so productive in Happy Home Paradise today. Like, we did number one, we did Moe's Magician Manor. And then we did Alice's Antique Store. And then we did the entire school. I think that's the most we've done in a Happy Home Paradise stream. Like, I don't know. I was on the productivity juice today, I guess. Oh, this school looks so cute on the outside. I love it so much. Oh, 
good luck with your island, Cheyenne. I love the idea of a Wild West theme. Like, that sounds adorable. Elegant Core also sounds really cute. But I'm going to wrap up today's stream. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed the third part or the fourth part. I think this was part three of our Happy Home Paradise stream series that we're doing every Tuesday. If you enjoyed, be sure to give the stream a like. I would super appreciate it. Thank you so much to our channel members. Thank you, Avery, for becoming a member today. And thank you to our mods. And thank you for all of our viewers. You are all so much appreciated. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I will see you again on Thursday. We're going to be playing some Paleo Pines, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.